Hello and welcome to another Polani video. So today I'm going to show you P7-Zip, which is the command line version of 7-Zip, which is the probably the most popular open source file archiver, especially when compared to commercial options like um, WinRAR and WinZip. And besides having the same fantastic compression ratio the command line version of 7-zip is actually really easy to use it's really easy to remember all the commands and all that so let me just go ahead and show you that okay so first i'm going to navigate to a directory that i made for this so the, the directory is empty so let's add a few files file one two three four five okay so we have five fi files okay so now let's make an archive out of these five files okay so we're going to call upon p7zip by typing 7z and the second command is going to be typing a single letter of what we want to do. So in this case, we want to archive something. So we're just going to type A for archive. And now we want to uh, name our archive. So let's call it a file.7z. And now we're going to uh, name all the files or directories that we want to incorporate into our archive. So in this case, um, let's say I want file one, file two, file three, file four. Okay. So for items to compress, for uh, 145 bytes, one kilobit. Okay, so the next thing let's um, let's list the contents of of the newly made file. Okay, so we have a new file called file.7z. Let's go ahead and list the contents because uh, we just we can't know uh, what we have in it. So again, we call upon 7z. We want to list so l, not ls, but l. Well, is the contents of file.7z and there we have it so we have in the bottom right file one two three and four by sorted by date time attribute size compressed and so on um, okay so that's making an archive and extract uh, and listing an archive so now let's extract an archive so we have the file.7z archive let's go ahead and uh, and extract so 7z e for extract right file.7z okay in this case yeah in this case um, we already have these files extracted so it's asking me if I want to overwrite them and it will just uh, skip skip this okay so that's archiving a um, listing the contents with L, extracting with E, um, what else can we do? We can um, test the integrity of the archive, so uh, we have the file.7z archive, so 7z, t for test, file.7z, everything is okay, okay, and now Let's say we want to delete a file from, we want to delete file two from the archive file.7z. So, so let's do that. Um, 7-zip, D for delete. Um, now we're going to name the archive, so file.7z, and then at the end of it, we're going to name the file or files that we want to delete from it. So in this case, file2, 
and let's go ahead and check that 7-zip list file dot 7z and we have file 1 1 3 and 4 so file 2 we have deleted successfully okay so that's uh that's pretty much it i don't know what else uh you would need to get started with uh, the as I said, command line version of uh, 7-zip, that shouldn't do it. So uh, thanks for watching.